You have entered the Chronics rabbit hole in 18. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to the channel. My name is Kyle, aka Chronic, and I am very excited to check out the official music video of Cavakel with SB19 and Glock9. We have already seen the lyric video, which was incredible, but I can't wait to see this official music video. And maybe if you stay all the way to the end, you'll see something cool about the next video coming down the line as well. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's check it out. First of all, coming from Canada, I did not get to see that Peg to Tog documentary from SB19. If any of you saw that, please let me know how amazing it was. Or if there is a way for anyone in North America or Canada to actually see that documentary or if they have plans to put it somewhere else like Netflix or something, that would be really cool. But today we are here for the main show of Cal Cal the music video. Something I wanted to just bring up again because this is why I really love SB19 is looking at the songwriters and the composers for this. Again, it is literally just Pablo, Josh, Stel, Ken, Justin, and Aristotle Polisco. So there's not many people that are making just these incredible bangers after bangers. Over in North America, there's so many pop artists that have just so many different songwriters and composers just to put out one song at like a fraction of the incredibleness that SB19 does as from what I can see, semi-independent artists since they're the ones doing the songwriting and composing, which is incredible. And before jumping into this, we're gonna check out the sponsor for this video. Hey there, music lovers and YouTube enthusiasts. Ready for a tune-up on your online security? Today's video is sponsored by Aura, and trust me, it's time to crank up the volume on this important message because we got a serious situation on our hands. Picture this. Hackers have pulled off a mega heist, and it's like they've raided the ultimate data vault. Over 2.9 billion records were stolen from national public data. That's right, 2.9 billion. Man, I can't imagine. They've got your full name, your address, your date of birth, your social security number, and even your phone number. Members of the hacker gang have released all this info for free online. Oh no. Now, I don't know about you, but this makes me want to take a flamethrower to my computer. It's like your personal info has been thrown out at a concert like confetti and anyone can pick it up. I've been through the ringer with data breaches before, and let me tell you, it's not no rock and roll ride. If you have not been careful with your personal information online, this should be your wake up concert call. You're more vulnerable now than you ever have been before, but don't fret. I've got a backstage pass for keeping my info safe, and it's called Aura. Aura is like having a security detail for your online life. They will alert you if they find your phone number, email, or social security number on the dark web. If someone tries to mess with your credit score or bank accounts, Aura's got your back with real-time alerts. And if the worst happens, Aura offers five million in identity theft insurance. They've packed all these features into one easy-to-use app, making it as smooth as your favorite playlist. So head over to aura.com slash chronic to try it out for 14 days free. That's more than enough time for Aura to check if your data is in any of those sneaky places. I highly recommend you hit that link right now. Because National Public Data isn't about to drop the base on this problem and help you out. Don't leave you or your family exposed to data breaches. Go to Aura.com slash chronic to get two weeks free of protection. It's like having a VIP pass to online safety. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, and now it's time to rock on. SB19 and Glock9 are great, but what I love about the 18 is how nice you are. I'm actually really easily embarrassed, so when I forget a name or like kind of put the wrong name to the voice like I did in the Calacal lyric video, there were so many of you that were so nice in the comments to let me know like, hey, this person did that part and all that, but I won't have to think about that this time because this is the actual music video. We're gonna have the people here. I'm gonna be able to put the voices to the, the face and get even more familiarized that way because I love SB19. I wish I got to see more of them coming from Canada, but we're here now. So this is Calacal. This is gonna look amazing. 
if it's anything like the lyric video. And we got some English subtitles, I think. Oh, SB19 Street and Glock 9 Street. Where they collide with the coolest cart. Oh, I'm turning this up. Yeah, Josh, looking good. Very hot. Ken, Stell, Justin, Pablo. I'm just making sure it sounds great. I'm loving the look. You can tell I'm loving this. And I'm just making sure there really is no subtitles. Maybe we can auto translate. That will help it a bit more. Because I, I wouldn't mind knowing exactly what they're saying here. Maybe it's going to. It doesn't look like it's gonna. So there's no subtitles that's gonna help me here. This song is incredible regardless. So let's just keep it moving. Help me with the lyrics, what they're saying in the comments below, please. Hinagrapang isang di makabas sa pinggan Boss niya'y anghel pakinggan Mga salita ay nakikipagsuntukan Kakaibala mo na ilang Kakainin mo lahat ng mga salita Masarap di ba? Di ka magsasawa Tunukin mo na lang, tama na ang kuda Binura, binura, sinara Pero di mo pa rin gaya isuka Na wala din nila kami Nagsimula lahat kumaya Laging pinibilaan Kahit nga hindi magbenda Paano ba kaya kapag napututo ka dena? Sa unang tingin pa lang kala mo na Na wala akong ibubuka Teka lang I like seeing Stella in this style. I must say, and I'm sorry that I'm pausing so much because I'm just so excited to get back to them. I think uh, Justin and Stella are standing out the most from this outfit look that they're going with this music video and it's really like bringing out a different character to them and it's bringing out almost a different flow out of them. Even if it's doing Pablo slower now, it's R&B soul here. love this and again i just wish there was some actual subtitles here i know i'm just like i just wish there was something here I, now that there is a reaction channel type of a, a thing out there and that record labels know how to use reaction channels now i think you almost have to because of how universal english is you have to get these subtitles to really help people extrapolate even more from the music because obviously they're dancing great. The music video looks great. Um, like everything sounds incredible, but for someone like me that wants to actually know what is being fully said, sure, maybe I better learn the language itself and maybe it's my fault and I better learn the language if I love SB19 that much. But I also think I eat a uh, subtitle would be really beneficial and then it's easy for me to say that when i then don't provide subtitles for others but i speak in english so i wouldn't know which one to throw it for me to help the most but maybe i should do what sp19 speaks as in the philippines but we will see and i love this so let's keep it moving Clock 9. 
bawat tunog na pinipinta yep. hindi hindi mo to maiinda parang patalim na tinara kaming pinadana kadamang dama mo na dala share. namin pag kami ang parating tulad ng isang pinagbigyang hiling makikita na lamang ang iyong sarili na sumasang ayong umiila hindi na muli pa ang lumaang panahon namin ngalulong wow. di magulong sa kahon tumatagong doon oh, na parang gulong kaso sa isang tugon ay tumatalon sa malon kami lamang at wala nang iba pa itaya mo na lahat ang kayang ikasa wala na kaharangan din namin kaya daan na kasi mapapala ba kaya na dapat naan na muna That was incredible flow. I thought it was Pablo the first time I heard that. Ooh. Looks like The Sims. I love that game. Ah, oh, you just feel cool. I love Ken's look. Nah, oh, they have so much fun and they are so, so great. Oh my god, yes. You just want to know more and more about that experience and the song itself and the people behind it. And there's so much... Though the songwriting and the like, the choreo like the writers are from the band itself. There's there's so much more people because the the choreo the choreographer is Jay Joseph. So that's actually someone different, and that's really cool to know. It's something I would love to spend the time to check out. I know they have. Um, I'm pretty sure they have like the behind the scenes of this actual music video itself, which I love. And we probably will check it out if you stay towards the end. There might be a button there that will lead you towards that. And I guarantee I'm going to go check it because I need to know more. And I think um, it's definitely, I wouldn't say their intention, but because there wasn't the ability to fully translate these lyrics for me at least as it's happening obviously i can go and check out the lyrics and then read it myself but it's something about knowing what's being said as it comes to you that is just so amazing and maybe it's because i'm more curious as a reactor now where i used to not be as like oh i need to know what is being said in the different languages but i'm trying to fully know what is being thrown there because obviously they would have lyrics that you want to know and they have meaning behind it but if you're watching just from performance standpoint, like I said, it was Justin and Stell that really stood out aesthetically for like how they usually look in their, their casual outfits and their other music videos. I thought that was really cool and it brought out a different character. Raid, as I said, because they were looking different, they sounded almost like they brought their tempo up. Pavel then came and brought his tempo down and kind of brought more soul, which I thought was incredible. Because like I said, the first time hearing this song, I thought when Glock 9 came in, it was Pablo because of that flow. But Glock 9 was such a nice um, complimentary piece for them because then it allowed Pablo to kind of show his different side as well. And we all know how many different sides there are too. Josh just kills it right off the bat. I love his hairstyle. I, I used to dye my hair um, all the time growing up and I kind of just went out of it because I thought it wasn't cool anymore. More, but the ability for them to make themselves an art piece while putting out this incredible art blending in different artists as well they are just masters at what they do and this is so catchy like i just love how catchy every single song that they do is and it's something I would love to just see them just performing. Obviously, the behind the scenes is going to show that. But just the dance performance. I forgot. It was Moonlight. Um, getting to see all the dancing, just that part of watching how they get all that figured out. For me, it's crazy because... Um, I grew up in a high school that was very into musical theater. So you had to be able to sing, dance and act all at once and when these guys perform they are literally doing all three of them at the highest level and they're having fun while doing it and it's their own work and there's just something magical about that that you wish more bands were like that and really there are more bands like that and that's why it's been so enlightening coming from Canada seeing bands like this and seeing the 
the limitlessness of their genre defining um, music. It's just incredible. So I hope you all enjoyed this video today and are excited to see the behind the scenes reaction to Calical, and I'm looking forward to that one as well. But if you did have a good time, please hit that like and subscribe if you are new and you wanna see me do more SB19 reactions. 18, you all are incredible. But if there are any of you from America, please take the chance to look in that description and get a free 14 day trial for Aura, which will help you with all those pesky scammers that are just flooding everyone these days. But staying safe means that you are here because we are a safe space. And thank you for making me feel loved in return. I hope you all had a good time. We are now exiting the rabbit hole. Peace and love. God bless y'all.